Hello everyone, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and these are the market positions for February the 18th, 2011. Now we have a special Friday edition since I've been on vacation down in Mexico for the last week or so. I thought we'd do an extra day this week. Uh, we're going to revisit our iShares, our NASDAQ Biotech, the IDX-IBB. Very good trade today. We were buying off the 94.98. We can see that we've pulled back right to that area to 94.82 and then subsequently uh, again moved all the way up to the 95.78 area closing at 95.55. So very, very good trade. Now what I want to point out is that yesterday our predicted true strength indicator was pretty much sitting flat and had not made that cross, but today it has. Our predicted MACD also crossed over the trigger and above the zero line. So this trade looks like it's gaining some momentum. So for our play for tomorrow is we're going to continue, we're going to, for, for the day trade, for your intraday traders that were trading this and are out, you're going to look to go back in. For your traders that are still in this position looking for the bigger move, well, maybe we'll add a little bit more on a, on a slight pullback. Now, I noticed that this predicted short-term difference here is starting to turn a little bit to the downside. So we're going to see a bit of a pullback, which is perfectly normal. I don't think I don't think we're losing momentum on this quite yet. Our equities are doing quite well. So let's have a quick look at our crossovers and see what's happening. Now, our short-term crossover from vantage point, we can see here, is is still holding in quite well. Nothing crossing over there yet. Our medium-term crossover, everything looks good there. And our long-term crossover, again, is just recently crossed back to the upside. Now, this, I, this again, looks, looks very good. So uh, that with our confirming indicators, uh, this, is, this is a trade I think we want to stick with. And again, anybody intraday trading, this is going to, pre again, pre present some very good opportunity. If you can pick up a dollar a share off this particular ETF, it's a, it's a very good position. So let's go back in. Let's have a look at the daily, the predicted daily high, the daily low, the range for tomorrow from vantage point, and see what we have. Now, what I want to point out, the last three days in a row, uh, technically the last four or five days in a row, we've, we've gone from 94.13 and we've closed all the way up to 95.55 today. So we're, we're making a fairly steady move up. Now, watching the closing price is not always a com confirming factor for the next day, but in most cases, it actually is. We can see that our high for the day, we've consistently moved higher from 95.11, 95.59, and then today we've hit 95.78. So, and then our lows are, again, uh, th this one's a bit of a concern here because our low the yesterday was 94.86, but now we've hit 94.82 today. So a little bit of a push lower there but not too much nothing to be of any big concern so for tomorrow we've got our neural index is still up we've got 9510 is our low that's what what we're going to use for an entry point and our high for tomorrow is going to be 9595 so we should shouldn't have too much trouble hitting that level and and again your intraday traders are going to look to get out around that area but your your medium to longer term traders I think we're going to see in the days ahead, potentially we're going to see much higher on this, but maybe even towards the 97 level. So everything looks good for that trade, so we are definitely going to revisit that. Now we've also, we did the US-Japan yesterday. We are going to stick with US-Japan, but that's not going to be one of the specific recommendations. Usually with Friday trade in the currency markets, we see a lot of volatility, uh, profit taking, things of that nature. But let's go in. That's, we've done our first trade. Now let's have a look at our second trade. Now our second trade for today is going to be in the Euro US currency pair. Now this is an interesting play. Now what we've got is we've got essentially all three of the predicted moving averages from vantage point stacked right on top of each other. 135.86, 135.88 and 135.76 with talk about the dollar, the interest rates, not favoring the dollar, all these different things. What, what I want to point out here is that the short-term move higher in the euro is, is likely a decent selling opportunity because I, I see the dollar actually rallying in, in, you know, in, in the very near future. So Friday we're going to have volat volatile, volatile trade, I should say, excuse me. And what I want to point out here is what's actually happening. Our predicted MACD and our predicted true strength indicator have both 
cross to the downside right here and right here there is no crossover back to the upside so when we go into our short-term crossover from vantage point we can see that it's crossed over to the upside so we know in the short term euro us is likely to move higher now when we look at the medium term it's not saying it's going to move that much higher and in the long term it's saying that this is still very clearly in a downtrend so in a, in a scenario like this we would actually look to sell into short-term strength now what I want to also do here today is I'm going to put in the the predicted high and predicted low from vantage point using it in the graph formation now we can see that the candlesticks have actually broken out of the vantage point range to the downside not the upside so the high low break in this particular case is still been to the downside even in when the euro was trading fairly strong today it still didn't break above the vantage point predicted high or the pr predicted high for the day or the predicted low it stayed right within that range that vantage point suggested so pretty impressive for, in that regard so what we're going to do here now is we're going to go and look at what the predicted high is tomorrow from vantage point and we're going to wait for it to get into that level and then we're going to sell it so when the market's getting very aggressively selling dollars we're actually waiting for the opportunity to potentially uh, buy dollars in the short term so for tomorrow we've got 136.80 as the high 135.76 is the low so in this particular trade what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for a move towards that 136.80 setting our short orders at that level stops in this particular case I think it would be safe to put them in the 13740 area it would be a reasonable area so we're not gonna risk an awful lot here we're gonna risk you know anywhere from 40 to 60 pips is gonna be our stop loss we're gonna take a shot at this uh, I would say counter trend but I'm not sure that it really is counter trend because only our short term indicators are saying that Euro US is going higher our medium and long term indicators are saying that it is going lower so we're going to stick with that scenario we're going to be looking for about a hundred pips tomorrow on the short side of this trade and again we're only going to risk about anywhere I'll leave that up to you guys 40 to 60 is what I would recommend anywhere in that 137 20 137 50 that's where I would put my stop in this particular case depending on your leverage and 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 we'll see how this one plays out so those are the market positions for February the 18th 2011 and again my name is Greg Furman market analyst here at traderplanet.com